welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Queen Lika. Queen what? Queen Lika, and I'm back again with another banger video. Okay, so guys, today I have nothing to do. I have nothing to do, nothing at all. So, um, I decided I take a drive to the fossil forest. You know, uh, my channel is growing so fast and then I want to be showing you guys around and I'm going to be traveling alone. So I want to have this um, courage that I can do, I can do trips on my own. Like I can travel on my own, okay? As you can see, we shoved the hair off and we removed our nails. We really have to, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. So today I decided I drive to Chirundu, um, okay, I'll say to Chirundu Bridge, but again, there's a fossil forest, uh, just somewhere there after the Siavonga turnoff. And I decided to show you guys, I've never been there, so my friend just told me, oh, have you been to the fossil forest? I'm like, where is that? So I, I like want to see it so bad. So that's why I'm driving to and today I'm rocking this uh, Zambian Jay-Z <laughs> which was given to me by my friend Daniel. Thank you so much Daniel for this Jay-Z. I, I, I love it. And I'm rocking some denims that I bought from Mad Boutique and just some flops that I got somewhere. Yeah. So I am actually alone. I have my bag here, my shoes in case it's gonna be I'm gonna wear shoes as I walk to the bush and yeah, I didn't eat so I'm I'm thinking maybe I order pizza as I drive out. I can pick I can pick it up by a uh, chachila ch ch Yeah. So let's go and let's run the intro. I forgot to call them in advance. I just got Hungry Lion and let's continue. It's 9.33 so I pray I should be there by 11.30, 12 hours so that at least by 14 I start heading back. I know from here I'll be behind a lot of trucks but as I reach that side I'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> Be like somewhere here, I think. So I managed to to locate the place. 
So this is a place says uh, management notice all forces in Zambia protected by the law. The following acts are there for offenses collecting all forces in any specimen. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Breaking of rocks and mushrooms. Digging and. Okay. Are you kidding me? Are you for real right now? Okay. Yeah, it comes up. Okay. Hey guys, so like I mentioned that I'll be coming to the... It's a fossil forest. The fossil forest today. I am already here. And I am shocked that... Anyway, he's here to explain so that you hear it for yourselves. But guys, it's just so shocking. Okay. <laughs> it's so shocking and I, I still can't believe it. Like my friends told me... Demon is the one who told me to come and check out this place for you guys. So thank you so much, my G. I'm here representing Zambia, as you can see, my jersey. So yeah, let me just wait for him to explain and then you'll hear it from him. So let's go. Scientific way when we talk about 150 million years. Actually, we believe that uh, during that given period of time, the climate itself, it was very much suitable for coniferous trees to grow around this given area. Coniferous trees, which we talk about, these are trees which fall under the group of pine trees, and they are found in a very cold type of climate. Uh, if we happen to mention of there, we might mention of Netherlands, North America, there where it is cold. They still have this type of trees growing there. Upon that 150 million years, here it was also very cold, it's when we had the coniferous trees growing here. Due to change of climate, when it became hot like today, actually the trees themselves, they could not stand this type of climate. The trees, they had to die by natural process, we mean they died on their own. After getting died on their own, the trees, they were buried by sedimentary or covered by sand period of time, Zambezi River and Kafiwe River it used to meet. Due to that change of climate which took place around this given area, actually affected water which was around here. Water around here started running into these two big rivers which I've just mentioned, Zambezi River and Kafiwe River. By so doing that is when the trees themselves they were covered by sand itself. There is a component which we call silica from sand. When we get sand and show it to the sun, we can simply see some shining particles into it. That silica, because of water which was there, it was forced to go inside the trees to go and replace the cells of the trees. The fibers of the trees, they were replaced by silica itself. The logs, they had to turn into rocks. Actually, we have got a radius of two square kilometers, which is gazetted as a site. Mm -hmm. Out of the two square kilometers which we have, <clears throat> we have just tried to identify some locality. So where do you pick this? From, from, from the, the bush? bush? Yes. I think these are enough. The tangle plastic that you said for? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Come back longer. Ten pack of plastic bag. Hey guys, so you saw what I went to see, okay? And then now I am, uh, I'm thinking of either going back or going to the Jerundu Bridge. But anyway, thank you, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let's continue growing together. So from me, it's peace. See you in my next video.